As you can tell from the last few episodes, springtime is here and the big bass are biting. This is my record day of bass fishing. Our best five bass weighed well over 30 pounds. I can't even describe the insanity of this video, so just sit back and enjoy this episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Yeah, he did. Yeah, there he is. I got him. Really? It's your PB? Oh, I forgot. Connor caught his PB and we got it on scale, so make sure you stick around for that. All right, guys, we just got out here and I've seen a ridiculous amount of fish on the graph, like even more than the other day when I had my best day out here. So I think we're in for a treat today. This is after a cold front. It's just if they're gonna bite, but I see the fish. I see the fish stacking up better than they were. So we're gonna keep scanning and uh, see what we can do here. I'm gonna probably start off with this 6XD right here. This is what I was cranking them on pretty good the other day. There's so many teeth marks on that bait. I caught like 70 fish on this thing. Also the spoon right here, killer bait. Underspin, killer bait. We also have a chatter donk on the kicking combo. And if you guys are wanting to check out some of the kicking their bass TV X lose combos, you can check them out on kickingtheirbass.com. I'll leave the link down below. And any of the other loose combos, you can check those out on loose. We're gonna get started with this. I'm probably gonna crank. These fish are moving really fast today, surprisingly. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I know there's a school of fish out here that are between eight to 10 pounds. If we can find that, we might stack up a 50 pound sack today. Also, if we can get them fired up, that's another another thing with it. Once you catch one or two on this crankbait, I, I feel like it tends to fire them up. So have you thrown one this deep? I haven't. You're gonna crank as fast as you can until you hit bottom. Once you hit bottom, you can slow it down. I was burning it that day. Like I, they were eating it either way. That's a big one on the bottom right here. Connor, you see him? Look, I'm coming up on him. You see that? Hopefully he fires up right here. Look at him behind me. See, he didn't want to eat it. Did you see that? Yep. Yeah, he did. Oh he freaking followed it up to the boat. Four pounder, get it started. <clears throat> <laughs> Choked it too, guys. I, I didn't even have any eat it like that the other day. Well, we got to start. I was going to put him in the box to take a cool picture at the end of the day of us. But since he's bleeding, I'm just gonna put him back in the water. Ain't that something? He totally didn't want to eat it, dude. And just, I was pulling my crankbait up. That, on Lake Lanier, I've caught some big spots doing that. Wow. Well guys, we are six minutes into today's video and we got us a solid three. Look at these fire jets, guys. Boy, they ran by. Bass Pro the other day and got some hair jigs. Probably something that you guys haven't even seen on the channel in at least five years. So, yeah, we're gonna tie this on my kicking their bass combo. It's in a half ounce hair jig. It's got like white and chartreuse. It's a nice little colorway. We're tying this on, guys, with a uni knot too. Simple and basic. 17 pound fluoro. We ain't going any lighter than that, especially with the fish we've been hooking. Jeez. Kicking combo rip, boys. Ain't no joke. See, this is why I should be throwing my crank on. It might be deeper today, man. That cold front might push them off more. All right, guys, we didn't find really what we wanted to find on this flat. We're going to come back to it because we did pluck a, you know, three and a half pounder off of it. So there's definitely still some fish in the area. One thing I've noticed is there's a big group of loons out here. When I mean a big group, I mean at least 80 of them. They were in this corner over here and I've been wanting to check this. So we're gonna try some new areas and just kind of scan and graph and uh, see if we can find some big fish. Oh my God, that one is huge. All right, Connor, tell the people what you've tying on. We are attempting to rig up an umbrella rig here. Yeah, umbrella rig. Put some swim baits on it. If we get on a big school of five pounders, you might hook you a 25 pound bag on one cast. I would lose my mind. I think we all would. But I scanned some fish out here, guys. They're, they're not really loaded up, but I've seen a lot of them. These fish are big, dude. Like, I don't even know what to think about this. 
I haven't seen one that big on the graph yet. He's in a ball of bait right now. Where'd he go? You notice he completely disappeared there. That bird tried to get my... No, 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 no. You're not allowed to get my bait. <laughs> that bird tried, man. Dude, this 8XD, whole different story. I can get down on that 16 foot like it's nothing. So guys, we've scanned a lot here. And one thing we've noticed is these fish are moving so fast. We haven't really found any just sitting there. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, there's some right there to the left. It's like a catchable one. Look, Connor. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah. You got him? Yep. He's small. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hey, first A-Rig bass. I got him hooked in two different places. He ate me though, or he swiped at me. I got him in the eye. There we go, guys. Second bass of the day on an A-Rig. We haven't really seen too much. It's been, these fish are being weird. They're, they're roaming so much that if you're not exactly on these fish and on your cast, you know, you're not catching them. These fish are moving a lot today, which is surprising because on sunny days usually they're not moving a lot usually they're tucked to the bottom then again we haven't really tried any bottom bait we're still trying to hunt i'm just really trying to find the ultimate school to get us on a crazy day i'm not trying to have an average day oh I'm trying to fire them up once i get them fired up i think we're gonna have a slay sash Big one down there, guys. It's like about a five, six pounder. Hopefully, I can get my bait down there. There's two of them. There he is. Yes, yeah, a big one. Yeah, six pounder, dude. Ooh. Gosh, dude. Oh my goodness. Let me just call him back, dude. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Woo! Dude, she's heavy, Connor. I can't even explain to you how heavy she feels. I'm put her in the box, guys, for a cool picture later. We'll release them back. There's her first giant. I mean, we had that good three and a half, but that was a good fish. That's a giant. There we go, guys. We went back to what we thought we should be doing the whole time. Got on us a solid five, six pounder there. It's crazy because I saw him on the graph. I'm like, yep, it's a five, six pounder. There's another one down here, right here. Get ready. One of us are about to catch it. Oh. Dude, is he not on there? What was that? So, boys, what we're fishing right here is there's a big flat. It's got a nice little drop off. These fish are just sitting right on the edge of it. So what we're doing is we're throwing out there, up on the flat, letting it drop off on the edge, and that's when we're getting hammered. I'm trying this A-Rig out right now just to see if I can fire him up. I'm trying anything. I feel like a crankbait would be the better option to fire him up, but I'm gonna let him throw that for a second. I want him to get one of these six, seven pounders. This one right here, I'm just gonna snipe. That's going Jeez, I got slammed. How was that fish that small? It's a striper, dude. It's a striper. <laughs> that thing. It looked tiny on the grab. That bite was something else, man. That was cool. I messed up my dang rig. It honestly caught me off guard, dude, because everything's been so picky today. Like, nothing's wanting to eat. What in the world? I never saw him on the graph at all. Pretty little bass. There you go, guys. I mean, it's been a little slow recently. We we see a ton of fish on the graph. We're scanning a lot. We're marking a lot. We're going to a bunch of different spots, but we haven't been able to catch any more fish. I will say one thing that's different is wind. The wind picked up. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But I caught two back-to-back -back on an A-Rig. 
One is a striper though. I didn't even know those were in here guys until last week. Do you guys think that that's a good thing or a bad thing? Cause I just don't know. A little update. We have not caught any more since those A-rig fish. We don't have too much longer. So we're going to go scan this flat again. I want to see if I can get Connor on one of these big crank fish. Dude, that's, that's a mega. So cast right out. By the time your bait's down, you should be right in front of them. That's a really big one, Connor. There's, there's two with them. Mom bottom. Oh. Oh. They go down after you? I think they did, right? Yeah. The sad part is, dude, like we're sitting on like a 25 pound bag that we just can't get the bite. Try for that one. Probably suspended. You got him. Biggin? Yep. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, that might be my PB right there. I'm really? It's your PB? Oh, my Ooh. gosh. He's a monster. Get him up to me, buddy. Get him up to me, buddy. That's why you don't give up. That's exactly why you don't give up. Oh, my gosh. Let's go, dude. Let's make it go, dude. Hold that fish up. <laughs> Hold that fish up. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's amazing, dude. Check out his eye. See his eye? You want to put him in the box? We'll get a picture? Yeah, yeah. We got to get one more big one, though. Yeah? Oh, I got another big one in there. I got six pounder yeah, in there. Man. Look. Ooh. See if we got two. <laughs> That's a freaking monster. <laughs> oh, we got him the bite. Thank the Lord, man. I really wanted Connor to get one of those guys. Mission's complete, but I would like to get a couple more. Good job, dude. dude Really? There's some out here. I try to get back in here. I got him. Yeah. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about it. throwing. In there. I don't care how big he is. I'll just... Unless he's over seven. Oh my god. Nah. It's like a, a four. Oh my god. <laughs> Connor, look. <laughs> We had to power him up, baby. Look how fat he is. Beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful. Fatty. That's right after Connor's, after we're getting these fish to sniff our bait the last three hours. Oh. Oh, he slapped me, dude. Oh, I had two giants right behind me. The adrenaline is pumping. All right, dude. Let's do it. Cast to the left of me. Yeah, your money. Your money. Oh, oh, dude, they're, they're, yep. Oh my, you got one? You're, you're kidding me, dude. Might be another tank. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. We fired him up. You want me to get the net? Yeah, yeah. How big? How big? <laughs> How big? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a mega, dude. All right, I'm getting in there, Connor. You're no, you're keep going. going. Keep going. I knew he was down there, Bubba. You got him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, dude, it's a giant. Connor, this is what it is. Oh my god. You get him without the net, though? Yeah, I can get him without it. <laughs> it might be like a five. Oh, dude, they're all under the boat. Oh, he ain't even that big. Look at that compared to mine. Mine's tiny. <laughs> I put this one in there too. It's up to you, man. If you think we're about to stack something crazy. Keep going out there. I think they're tugging. I think they're yeah, hugging yeah. the bottom. I yeah. Uh, yeah, there he is. Yeah. That's a big one. I don't know if I need the net. Just, just play you, bro. Play you. Oh, guys. That's the bite we want to get on. You got one? What? You can't move him? Oh my gosh. How big? No, get that next step. Oh my he's god. He might be power. No, no, no. Oh, he's barely on, dude. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah. So it's just a little four. I'm a little fat though. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Connor went from not having a fish to what? Four freaking four pluses? <laughs> hey, those are under the boat. You should. 
No way, dude. He's a giant. Dude, get him past my line. I'm, I'm on your line. Oh my god. Digging. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's hooked by one. Four He's out there. He was to the left, right? Yep. Yeah, I see him down there. Noah should get him fired up. We're getting him fired <laughs> up. Uh, let's go. There's one sitting perfect. There's actually two with it. Where they literally scattered when I hooked him. They're gone. There was like six on the graph and when I hooked him, they just are right, right there. You see that? Well. Oh yeah. That was a big one. I just leaned into it. It felt like I leaned into a tree, dude. <laughs> That's a big one. Ah. Four pounder. <laughs> Look at how they're eating it though, see? That's how yours was too. Yep. There's some down there. Throw it throw right out. Do this some big. Back us up a little bit because there was some under the boat. I see a big one on my left. I'm gonna go for. Oh, what is that? At the dude? bottom? What could be down there? I have no idea what you hooked on to. Doo -doo. Are you sure you weren't on a fish? No, no, there's no Bro, way. Bro, Connor, that, that you, was a you brick see wall. those three big ones, though? What, do you think it was? I, I mean... If, I, if it was, I really just messed up there. There he is. Big in? There he is. Keep him down. The big head to try to... Oh. How big is that? I didn't even see him. The sun's so big. I think this one's over five, right? Should be. Oh! <gasps> Oh, my. that's my PB. That fish, is good. Dude, that's a nine pounder. Connor, that is, oh my God. Look at that fish, dude. That's your PB 100%. <laughs> no, when he turned though, it just... oh, that's absolute, that is a football right Dude, that's, that's a nine pounder, bro. Oh my God, dude. I got one. <laughs> Let me uh, flip this up and get this off. Oh my God, that's like a four. Bro, that, Connor, that's a fish, bro. Are you kidding me, dude? That Connor, that's a fish, buddy. That's what I was calling him the other day. I'm like a casual fool. Stomach on that fish oh, is unreal. Look at it compared to your shoe. He feels every bit. Oh. My God! <laughs> Look at his belly, dude. Oh my God! Let me, hold dude, it, dude. That's got to be the. I think that's the fattest fish I've ever caught in my life. Connor, that is ridiculous. Bro. All right, let's get back in there, guys. Connor just caught his PB. Unbelievable! Last time I was out here, when I put that random guy on the boat, he caught his PB. Unreal, man. For how slow it was the first four hours today, would you have ever expected this to happen? Not a chance, but that right there is why you don't give up. You are right. Like Connor, I'm gonna throw this eight real quick. All right, we picked up Connor's eight eggs, dude. <laughs> I truly think like one, the eight XD just gets deeper, but two, it's just a bigger bait. Jeez, this thing beams so much further. So they're letting you pick it up later? Yeah, now, now they'll do it, but I asked them earlier and they said absolutely not. Oh my God. I'm glad you did that. We're supposed to leave right now to go get Connor's car. It's like getting worked on. <laughs> he the just called him. Circumstances changed. Huh? The circumstances <laughs> changed, so we're not picking up the car yet. Bro, like, would you want to leave 10 pounders to go get your car? No, I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, but I would, I, I was gonna I would leave, drive you I was going to leave the car there and make Noah drive me all the way back to my school. <laughs> and listen, I would be completely fine with it, bro. Dude, they're down there still, Connor. I just can't get them to bite. Oh, shoot. I picked up yours by accident. Dude, it feels so much better on mine for some reason. This? No, this on, on the kicking rod. 
No, it does, dude. Like it's way more comfortable and it's easier to do. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, like I have no emotion right now. I, I don't know how to feel about this. He has a massive gizzard in the back of his throat. Oh, look that at the gizzard. Oh my God, look at the belly. Connor, we just dropped another dirty 30, dude. Is that your first dirty 30? <laughs> Dude, this kicking on the beans is thing. Dude, I don't even know why I was throwing it on that other run. I'm gonna go towards the right, dude. Dude, it feels big in. Right by the boot, Oh, dude, Connor. Connor. Oh my gosh, dude. Bro, this is the most insane fishing I've ever seen. Hold on, hold on. Let me show this to the camera. Just to show how fat that. I don't even know how big that fish is, but it's freaking big. Connor's is schooling me over here. You got the magic touch, Connor. Dude, the fish didn't want to bite all day until this. It's so crazy. <laughs> this would probably go back, right? I mean, you gotta throw it back. I don't know what else we're gonna do. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Oh my god. Good job, man. I can't even give you a fist bump right now until you hook another nine, you know? <laughs> this is seriously insane. <laughs> we were out here for probably five hours and I, I really didn't even have a single bite. So Noah was like working on the bottom, working on the bottom. And I would crank down until I'm there. Then I would slow down so much that the bait was coming right back up. No fish. Now I'm, I'm keeping it constant on the bottom and they're smoking yeah. it. So I'm learning it now, brother. Uh, your spot lock, right? Yeah. All right, guys, we're out of a graph right now. My batteries are just going dead and it's not able to even scan anymore, but I still think we can get on them really good. It does suck though. How did that big one hit it, dude? I haven't caught one that big on it. Yeah, right at the boat, man. Right uh -oh. there, right? It's taking me on the other side of the boat. Net him? Uh, I can get him. I can get him. I can get him. What was that like five? Yeah. He was taking me all the way on the other side. Dude, they're all eating it the same way. There's another brute, guys. Another brutey. Look at his belly, man. It's crazy. These fish are chewing on gizzards yet, yeah, bro. So these gizzards here, Connor, I don't know if I told you, but the they're like 12 to 15 inches. Oh, they're that big. Yeah. I've seen gizzard chat in here that are like bigger than some of the bass I catch. <laughs> like, that's why they're so fat. Dude, that sucks, man. I wish I could see under the boat to know if they're down there. <laughs> Guys, this has been just an insane day. That's all I can say. I had a crazy day last week. Found some fish out here all deep like this. And uh, we're back at it again today. It was really tough at the beginning. I thought this cold front kind of had the best of us. We found the fish, we just couldn't get them to bite. And then finally Connor ended up hooking one and it just turned them on. They were on fire. And that's, uh, that's what you gotta do when you're doing this crankbait fishing. You just gotta get them turned up. You can get them to fire up and start eating. See, now it's cold. Now we're not catching any. But uh, it can be back to back to back to back if you get them fired up and going crazy. Also, um, see the live well's been on? I think that's, yeah. Biggin? You got one, right? Yep. How big? You want to, you want to just handle them? Yeah. Maybe just yeah, grab he's them. Good. Yeah. Still a nice three pounder. That's <laughs> that. Good job, bro. Pretty fish. Man, what a day, dude. What a freaking day. I was just talking to the people in the back. You ever heard uh, you're the sum of the people you hang around? Yeah. Like the five people you hang around the most, you're the sum of them. It must be true if them fish <laughs> are all three to ten pounds, and they're just. There's like no one to two pounders in sight. Jeez, God. That's football, dude. 
Right. Well, this gentleman thankfully had a scale, so we're gonna weigh this thing real quick and see see where she's at. I think it's my PB, but it's better be the moment of truth. <laughs> it does look like I can't tell if it's nine or ten. Eight, thirteen. That's a monster, though. I thought okay. she was gonna hit nine. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Let me grab one of these for you. Yeah, that's a, what is that? Goes a 15 foot or something? Yeah, it, uh, I'd say uh, 13 to 15 would be its you know, max. Right? You really got to get your rod down to, to get it on the bottom good. But. All right, I get me some of them, yeah. No, go for it. You can have it. You sure? Yeah, you can have it. Well, good luck, man. We'll be right here if you need anything. All right, I appreciate that. All right, you have a good day. this other day but like people were like legitimately coming right up to your boat bro like without you just telling them to uh oh dude that's a big one yeah, yeah she ain't this is a monster oh, yeah. that's why i had the urge to i don't know how big she is dude but she's big she was right on that deep edge Is she big? Oh, how big is she, dude? How big is she? Oh, how big? That's a unit. Sheesh. Dude, how big is that one? I mean, look at that one, dude. How big is that? She ain't lower than six. Ain't no way. She just felt like a Mack truck, dude. Just straight up, just straight 18 wheeler. Cause you threw what your next cast and then you had one then i threw one had one yeah. right it was like all back to back to back you see where i just cast it that's where i caught it yeah i was out there bro did you, did you throw an no i'm getting slammed i got one you might be on me too pony might be on your mind. no i mean i got one yeah how much i ever on that shot another football <laughs> I mean, that's like close to a four pounder. Crankbait's just huge. I had him in the nose. Right in the nose. That ain't even, no, that's like a three pounder. Yeah. Hey, they must be, they must be out there. Like, I feel like I'm almost on a cranking ride. It just feels like so much more relief. Like I'm not even wearing myself out. Yeah. And I'm throwing a he bigger crankbait. Oh, I got hit. There he is. Bro, it feels like a brick. He's coming up. Look, look. This is huge. Oh my God. Wait till you see this fish. I don't know if you're gonna believe you see it. Him? I don't know if you're gonna believe it. Oh, he ain't even that. Big. I mean, he's big. Don't get me wrong. Like, he's I mean, big. That's, that's a I solid fish, dude. I had him in the side of the face, see that? Yeah. So he just felt You're twice in the side. I had him by his gill plate. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I'm gonna get you all. Yeah, look, that's why he felt so big. Yeah. I thought that was the biggest one all day. I thought it might've been big as yours. Felt like a brick. <laughs> you see where I cast it? That, yeah. that was it, dude. All right, guys, we're gonna release these fish. I wanna get them, keep them healthy. Fish number two. These are tanks, guys. Straight breeze. I don't believe we just dropped another mega bag. Connor, I gotta let you release your big girl. You're, not, you're probably gonna have to nurse her for a second. She's a big, she's a big one. Oh my God, almost a nine, eight, 13. She was close. So close. Grab her tail, Connor. Yep. And do it like a swimming motion. I keep her. I would get her kind of in the mood. Just keep doing that yep, for a minute. She's, ready. she's already kicking, isn't she? Yep. Oh my goodness, dude. I just, I cannot believe it. 